The whole world was shocked by this collapse and the enormous debt that it's caused to the young women who worked in this factory. And the whole country of Bangladesh was going through a mourning process because this has been seeing day after day all those dead bodies being recovered one after another, hundreds of them, uh, now exceeded 1,200 dead bodies recovered from that. Uh, so this has shaken up everybody. And the uh, industry also responded to that, uh, uh, saying that uh, like any other news, this will remain in the mind for a while, but after a couple of months, people will get busy with other news and it will be forgotten. When we still have it fresh in mind and we are so sorry that what we have done to that, those women, uh, why don't we act together? And industry has taken some action, but there are a lot more actions to be taken together, uh, not only for one particular aspect of government business, this is the building safety, there's environmental safety, there's personal safety, there's health issues, there's minimum wage issues, uh, living conditions issues, living wage issues, uh, dignity issues, and also also. So why don't we look into it? So I'm trying to urge oh, everybody, uh, industry, workers, governments, uh, everybody to check, join in, uh, to come with a framework so that we do, every time the disaster happens, we don't have to sit down, uh, react instantaneously, and then forget all about it. So we shouldn't forget about it. Let's do something which will be a solution, permanent solution. Western governments uh, not actively engaged in this. It's a private sector matter. It's a business to business matter. Uh, only when they see that the business is exceeding the boundaries of uh, rules and norms, then government will get in. Or they need new kind of regulatory framework, then government gets into it. We are suggesting, to, we are inviting the governments and the businesses and the producers in Bangladesh, uh, workers in Bangladesh get together uh, to create a framework, what I'm calling Garment Industry Transparency Index. So that all these aspects can be kind of collapsed into a number so that we can see what, at what level you are. Uh, what level the industry is, a particular company is, what level a particular country is, because it's not only for Bangladesh, wherever the garment is produced, use the same index. It's just transparency, so that you reveal everything, don't hide things. If you hide, that is something, surprising thing will happen out of it sooner or later. So let's reveal, let's discuss. There's nothing uh, to be shy about. This is a business. Consumers understand that. If consumers were told that if you, if you, if you are uh, happy to pay one dollar extra, we can do so many other things for the people who work for that. So that the people at the bottom are not squeezed and squeezed, and everybody else they get their share. Uh, workers get the squeezed share every time. That's not a fair thing to do. I'm saying that why don't we ensure that industry workers will not be squeezed beyond this level, that's the minimum wage or the living wage. This is guaranteed, nobody can compete on that one. The rest you compete, how fast you can do it, how good quality you can do it, uh, how, much, how many pieces you can do it, that you compete, but not at the cost of the, uh, the living wage of the workers. If you uh, have exclusively go-hung uh, business motive, you forget about the society. Make money. So you, all you understand is making money. Probably they, those days, uh, th numbers of those kind of businesses will be less and less because people are very concerned today what you do. Even uh, as a kind of public relations, you always say, oh, we are concerned about the people. Even probably you finally don't deliver that. But the uh, awareness uh, of the people are such that you have to con conform to that. But a, basically they are profit-oriented companies uh, because their ultimate result is given by the stock market. They're always glued to the screen. Is the stock market price for me, my share is increasing or decreasing? And it's all decided how much profit you make and what is the prospect of future profit. So no matter what you want as a CEO, you are very... Um, um, open-hearted person, you want to benefit the society, but the moment you sit in the chair of the CEO, your first thing you see in your screen is the stock market price. 
and then you focus on that. Don't let it fall, let it rise. How do we do that? Make more money. So that's how the limitation of the business is. Then comes the social orientation of the business. You, see, you can have to give ex um, instruction to your CEO. I'm, we are the owners. We are giving you as a CEO instruction. Don't worry about profit. If the stock market price goes down, it's all right with us. Uh, all we want also to help people. So you have to combine. You need clear instruction. Uh, you, unless you have clear instruction, CEO is always going to the uh, same direction. Uh, so this is a mixture. Uh, what we have done on the social business, we forgot about those screen completely. We don't need a screen. All we need is uh, if you have a problem, you design a business to solve that problem. Your task as a CEO to report back to us, have we solved the problem? How much of the problem we have solved? Why can't you solve it more? Because that's, our, that's your task. Then he said, we need more money to do it. Okay, we'll give you more money. Invest more money. Get the problem solved. You don't have to give us any money. Be clear in your mind what you want. If you're mixing both profit and uh, social, be clear, is it 1% social, 99% profit, or the other way? 1% profit, 99% social. Unless you make it very clear, you'll be confused. Every time you'll say, oh, we are doing social. But you're doing only 1% social, 99% profit. So well, you can make it 50. It's your decision. Nobody, nobody is forcing you to do anything. But be clear what you want. You say, in the beginning, I'll be 99% profit, 1% social. Two years later, I'll be 50-50. Five years later, I'll be 99% social, 1%. It's OK. It's your decision.